We are officially recording for the Q&A. Joe, you here, buddy? What's up, man? Dude, you loud bastard. There you are. Is it just me? Man, I feel like it's never loud for me, and today it's really loud. It's crazy. It's like, is that just on my end, or does it feel like we're both screaming? Because I feel like, how are you guys hearing the audio? Dude, it sounded, it, when you just talked to me, bro, it sounded Sorry, like- Sorry, my, okay. my speaker's dropped off. Say that again. I missed everything. Oh, man, it's, it's weird, dude. It's like sometimes Zoom- Fuck, like locks in a speaker's really- still not going. Hang on, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Okay, there we go. I'm good now. All right. Oh, good. Joe, what I was saying is, is I feel, like, um, I feel like you and I are super loud today when sometimes it dumbs down our voice, sometimes it doesn't. I'm like, dude, Zoom is like the most, it's like a girl on her period, man. It's so temperamental, dude. It's like <laughs> every, day, every day I'm like learning something new about fucking Zoom, dude. It's crazy. It's <laughs> like, I don't ever want to change something and make it mad. It's like, honey, are you okay? Just calm down. What do you mean fucking calm down? <laughs> oh, shit. So here's what we're going to do, guys. Joe's going to annotate on this all day. Um, what we're going to do is I don't think I can bring up charts, man, because my computer's lagging so, so bad. So why don't we cover a different topic today, man? Why don't we answer all your questions and talk and watch Bow Trade Live, but also talk about maybe a lot of psychology behind certain things? What do you think, Joe? I'm game. Dude. So if you guys have any questions, man, please post them right here. We're going to answer all of these, but um, just to start, man, Joe, what's up, man? What's new? How's it going? What's popping? What's popping, brother? I'm adding just, I'm just, I'm doing some swing stuff outside of just day trading. So I'm looking at that. That's primarily what I've been focused on. Nice, man. What, what are you looking at? Cause dude, this market is straight up fake it till you make it, man. If there's one thing going on, it's that nothing makes sense and things are just going up in the big cap land, dude. Like what the hell? Yeah. So the, um, the primary thing that, <coughs> sorry, the primary thing that I really um, am looking at right now is uh, retail stocks. So that's stuff like, like the, the one today is going to be like Tupperware. T so you're talking about like Macy's and Tupperware and things like that? Yeah, I'm talking about stuff that... I I guess Macy's is what everybody assumes because it's a popular name and it got tanked and everybody was looking at it. But I'm not looking at Macy's, but I'm looking at basically like retail stores, you know, restaurants, places that are going to increase once um, the economy continues to reopen and, and fears lessen and things like that. So, for example, that was just confirmed today. That thought was just confirmed today with the federal chair Powell saying this was the alert thing. The news alert said that household spending appears to have recovered by about half of the earlier decline. So people are back to spending money. Um, Pouring and it they're going to the obviously yeah, do it. Seriously. The first, the, the last sector that is really beaten down that isn't, you know, travel or that isn't, you know, travel is one that I have started in on small, um, in the airline stuff. And then, uh, and then I'm looking at, I'm looking at retail stocks, man. This, this is going to be, this is going to be places that, um, once there's confirmation that things are returning to normal or there is a vaccine, these stocks are going to be through the moon. Well, yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, a lot of the economy recovered, right? It's like when people, you know, when, when, the, when the Dow or the spy hit, you know, close to 200, man, people literally thought, dude, we were going back to the stone ages. And then once we realized, you know, there was kind of like, um, you know, a little bit of recovery in the market and, you know, like the pandemic and stuff, Pete, dude, I'm telling you right now, man, we're almost back to all time highs. It's kind of crazy. Right. So it's like, again, you know, there's nothing about faking it, but it seems like the market is fake until you make it, as Austin said in the last two of his webinars, which we talked about last week. But yeah, man, again, it's like go for the high probability stuff. You know, what Joe is doing, guys, is he's doing a little bit more swing trades. So he's taking on what the sentiment of kind of the world is right now, literally. And you got to think like when, when it comes to long-term investments, which we don't necessarily teach here because we're more of a day trading course, I'm always like what Joe just said, I'm looking at what's more future proof. You know, what's a company that even if a recession came or the pandemic came back stronger than ever, what would still make money during a pandemic or if the economy recovered entirely, what would people have to buy? 
right? Like yeah. some, like, dude, they, they don't have to buy Macy's, right? Like that's something that can totally go under, but you know, something, you know, that relates to food or agriculture or something like that could be a different story, you know? Yeah. I'm not, um, I'm not focused on like day trading things right now because, um, my son is going to start school. So this will be his first year of school. So primarily what I'm doing is I'm building swing positions that will, I, and, and diversifying my capital into these positions. And then I'll keep a small portion just to come in, check the morning action, trade that, and then roll out. And so that, that's, you know, that, that's largely what I'm going to be doing. I love it, dude. I love it, man. So you're looking at retail. What specific are you looking at besides the Tupperware? Anything else? Um, I guess another version of that is another one today would be LB, which is um, Limited Brands, which is an apparel store. Um, this is my favorite, of which I already hold a position as well. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, and by the way, guys, anytime, seriously, feel free to ask us any questions. So if you guys have any questions as it relates to trading or MIC, feel free to write here or on YouTube and we're here to answer them for you. And I know this is kind of like every single week, this is kind of gravitated into a little bit of a talk show and we like to shoot the shit and show you guys what kind of normal dudes we are, man. This is not about polish, but again, if you do have questions, please write them down here and we'll watch Bow Trade Live. <laughs> He's kicking butt on Kodak right now. Dude, I'm telling you, man, how insane was, did you, did you look at Kodak today? Oh, sure. <laughs> Bro, did so you, I, I know, it's hard not to. I know it's kind of like borderline that like area of gray of it's like, is it a big cap? Is it a small cap? But I know it was on your radar for at least the price action that was going on. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it was, I was watching it. I started watching it when it started doing all the halts like BPTH did, you know, it's like every, Every stock that goes full blown, whatever you want to call it, you want to call it supernova, you want to call it black swan, whatever it is, when it starts doing that, where it just halts up, halts up, halts up, halts up, you never know where the top is, but the top is definitely coming because <laughs> it's going to, you know, those are just, those are just market buy-ins from brokers that are, that, and Alex said it, and I was, I was telling uh, one of my buddies in a DM, I was like, dude, the top, here it comes, man. It's coming this is uh but, but see the, the hardest coming, part but of we never know it was like 35 when i said that i was well, like oh shit here's the action this Joe, is the what, action when the I'm halts saying. start this dude. could go 50 60 70 you never know but it's gonna blow off dude that's today. the craziest part right so again you know one of the number one things that we teach about trading guys is look bow made this very famous this kind of saying we all know these turds are going back down, but can you stay solvent before, yep. you know, longer than the market, right? Like rational, you know, the market is going to do what it wants. And the yep. problem, uh, you put in a stop at 349, they filled me three. Oh shit, 43% slippage. Yeah, that happens, man. I hate when that Jesus. happens. But, but the point is, guys, is what we're trying to say is we had a huge feeling that there would be a blow off top and there would be maybe a downhaul on some, because we've seen it before, man, BPTH, you know, dries, we saw it. So LMFA, if you've been a trader for many years, these are identifiable. So if I go back to after hours, you know, what flash posted again, we all know these things are coming for the most part, but again, timing in trading is everything and it's so hard so all these new members you know not in mic because we teach you from minute one how to stay safe but if you think about it all these new members of any other club that doesn't preach hard stops that doesn't preach process dude they're shorting at 38 because they think it's going to go down today and here's the funny thing man like okay kodak right they're shorting say it say they're shorting at 30 they're like man this is the top dude it will go under 30 at the same day, but you're not going to last from 30 to 60. So again, do you want to be right or profitable? If you're the guy that's shorting at 30 or 40 or even 50, dude, and you're like, oh, well, you know, I, it, I took a loss, but then it down halted and it went to 25. I'm right. Yeah, guess what? You're right and broke, motherfucker. You're broke, dude. You don't want to be broke. What do you want to be right or do you want to be profitable? So I think it's, you know, I think it's fun to watch somebody sling big money around, but- It's entertaining as shit. It's entertainment, of course. But if the job is entertainment, okay, cool, job completed. But if the job is education, then you are doing your members a large disservice by teaching or leading by that example. If Here's your example the, yeah. is to is to 
basically brag about your 12 inch cock then <laughs> it's 14 but whatever it, yeah i know who's counting yeah <laughs> i lost then, track after 10 yeah look at all the accomplishments i have made because i have such a large account and i can take look such large drawdowns that's not education we're here to educate the masses if we can educate the masses, the masses don't have million dollar accounts. The masses have five grand. They have maybe 10 grand. They have maybe 25, 30, 50. The rarities have um, 100K. And the point here is that when you are an educator of a room or a service, you can't be teaching that type of stuff. It's just it's it's terrible it's absolutely terrible because it creates a false sense of what people should be doing the efforts they should be making and so on it, it's just yeah so and really quick guys of course i always want to make sure that nobody is following look guys there's no not even us look if 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 fucking joe dude is in is in a stock that doesn't mean you get into it none of this is recommendations to buy or sell in fact any community that is literally telling you what to do like you need to buy this stock or sell this stock or i'm sending you alerts is bullshit man that's not what trading is there's nothing that we do that tells you specifically oh hey joe's in xyz get an xyz that's not what this is about if he's making a decision based on what he's doing that's his business just like me just like Bao, we will teach you what the lines are and what you should be focusing on but when it comes to alerts and or hey tosh give me a quick recommendation that's not what true trading is man so again when you're at like just joe just said if you're at a furu service that is like on a microphone or they're pumping their positions on youtube live and they're like dude i'm in this you need to get in this too that's, that's not what true trading is, man. Do you know why he got in that? Maybe he's got a $2 million account. Maybe you've got a $50 account. That's not sustainable, man. So while he can do huge drawdowns or huge draw ups, you know, that's not rep. It's not, re you can't replicate that shit, right? Like the guy not that's in and out, in and out, in and out. In and, dude, that's not process. The thing that's process is where we teach you general terminology of lines and trends. And look, man, if codex under a certain line, it's probably not a long. This is what the price action is telling us. This is not our own opinion. This is not our own bias. This is a charts opinion and bias. So when you follow dipshit XYZ in a trade because he's in a trade, that's you playing your furu, your guru's bias, not what the, the chart is telling you. So that's what we just like to make very clear. You know, anything that me or Joe talk about, guys, is more so for the purpose of what we're doing, but none of this is promotion of a certain ticker. I just want to make that very clear as we are all up to our own vices at the end of the day, but we will show you how to trade not how to get in a certain ticker. Make sense? Like, I just want to make sure that everybody understands that. So if you're at a competing service, that's like, dude, get in this, I'm in. You don't know what his agenda is, man. That's not what you want. You see what I'm saying? It's not blindly follow the leader. Yeah, so I, I'm of the thought that the people that teach you need to act as a coach would. So I played football and basketball, yep. and baseball, and I would never have expected i wouldn't have never sorry i would never have expected my coach to go out on the field with us and first teach me how to do this by doing it himself and do it at such a level that i could never replicate that yeah right. i would want my coach to teach me how to bunt right and once my coach teaches me how to bunt by showing me the bunt himself and then i replicate then we go to the next level and we walk hand in hand together up the stairs he doesn't scream down from me at the top of the stairs hey dipshit why aren't you doing this dick. <laughs> you're sucking dick man you got a tiny little account little boy it's time to get in the big leagues watch what i can do sitting up there just swinging the bat hitting home runs until i'm just like i'm just fucking out of i'm just exhausted well, can't this, ever climb the stairs because nobody will tell me how. Well, and this is why we want to preach, you know, what process is every day, guys, is everybody has their own process. It's like, look, there is a process to MIC and we teach you how to actually trade. But again, you can still find little nuances that make you 
um, you know, better in your own process. That's the cool thing. Yep. Hey, so Bell, what would questions. you like to talk about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, in the AMAC archive, I read something you say about having a scoring system for tickers metrics and using that system to give you an idea of how much you like the play. I've been wanting to do the exact same thing, but I don't have extensive experience giving you rating. So you don't have to have extensive experience. The scoring system is up to you. So if you follow the MIC process, each little thing that we say you need to do, let's say like you want to short this stock, okay? Is the stock a first red day setup? Is there a death line? Is there a death candle? Okay, check, that's point number one. And there we go. And then, okay, we like these stocks that have this market cap range right here. Okay, it's in that range. Okay, check number two, point number two. It's like a little tally mark. And whatever one, whatever has the highest score, that becomes the things that are, um, best on your list to play. You don't have to have like, okay, I will trade anything that has a seven, eight, or nine scores. Um, you will have plenty of an ample opportunity to make that decision. Okay, let's say I only want to trade stuff that has like eight or nine. You know, this is the same analogy that, that Bao uses about the blackjack hand. Only trade 20, um, <coughs> only trade 19 or 20 blackjack hands if you can see the cards ahead of the time. Well, the checklist allows you to, the mental checklist allows you to make that effort to score each little, okay, it's got resistance. Oh, it's got support, whether it's long or short. It's this market cap, it's this float. It's got this type of fundamentals. It's got this right here. It's got this and this and this and whatever has the best odds of that, then cool. But once you internalize that system, you're never gonna do it by hand. Like I used to do it by hand in the beginning and I haven't done it since. Like, I mean, Tosh, I'm sure you were the same way. You had like this little checklist that you had to make, you had to check off the boxes, but probably haven't touched that actual physical checklist in four years. That's well, you know, because, because over time, man, um, yeah, you internalize it. Yeah. What, what it becomes, man, is when you guys have a process for so long, you, it, it becomes reactionary, man, literally like everything is like by the same time it's predefined. My lines are, my lines are drawn by a certain time. I know where my hard stops are. It becomes so second nature that I'm not actually physically checking a list every morning in, anymore. But in my first year, dude, I was, religiously so i was like okay it's got this it's got this. dude i'm already like almost subconsciously doing all that now because i've been trading so long so you know that's why we preach you know screen time is so important this this stuff really comes to you over time man. and i promise you when i say think about driving think about the first time you ever drove a car versus dude five years later you're like dude the first time you get on the freeway, maybe you need music low and you need to focus and see if there's a horn. And now you're kind of careless because you know exactly how to drive on the freeway. And like, there's no, you're not going to get blindsided on hopefully, you know what I mean? But the point is it, it becomes process, man. It becomes repeatable. Yep. Joe, what do you think? Uh, dude, are you excited for, um, I want to hear your thoughts on, uh, on what you're going to do for the uh, presentation of the bootcamp, man. What do you think? Let's talk about that for a sec. So, my presentation is, uh, like it says there, it's going to be talking about applying the MIC process in every market. So if you trade crypto, if you trade, uh, I'm going to say it, Forex. <laughs> Just well, kidding. Hopefully Alex can hear that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to talk about Forex bullshit. Uh, if you trade stocks, if you trade options, futures, um, whatever market you would like to trade, my presentation is going to be about developing a process in how to find an edge in those and using the MIC process to back your way into those markets in order to find a consistent, repeatable strategy. Dude, I, I'm so excited to hear it, man. Every, every uh, boot camp we do, man, you give a really good presentation on it's spe specifically how to stay safe, man. I think, I think that there's probably no one better to talk about like the parameters of what it, what it takes, man. Like how much percentage of your account you should be using, um, how much, you know, maybe what you're abusing. Seriously, like the guys with $30,000 accounts, man, that are using 15,000 shares, bro, that's too much. Like, so yep. we teach, yeah. I mean, like Joe's like the nut, like don't even get me started on like what Joe would say about 
about that. But dude, like there is a certain risk that maybe you should be taking as per your account size. So we're going to talk about that. And, you know, just to reiterate for the guys, you know, that are kind of maybe coming in right now or just kind of came in August 17th. This is a two day event. If you are a monthly member, if you are a non-member, it's going to be 97 to join right now. If you sign up for the early bird special, um, if you are an annual or lifetime member, it's absolutely free. If you are a lifetime member specifically, you are going to have the second day, man. The second day is going to be awesome. It's, it's going to be just like the first. We're going to do a lot of live trading with Bao. We're going to show everything. It's going to be really good, man. But lifetimes, if you want to upgrade right now, text me as you are going to get a good deal. And simultaneously, you're going to get a whole second day out of this, man. So, I mean, why wouldn't you go annual or lifetime right now if you have the resources, man? There's no better time to invest in your education. We're going to show you everything that we do. And I would go as far as to say that if you did get access to this event and you have an, like, if you have an annual membership, you go to this event and you watch the accelerator course, dude, there is no reason why you shouldn't understand everything that we do. Literally, like there should, there should almost be no questions about what we do every single day. And then if you have questions, we are always available for you guys. <laughs> What's Bao saying? He's got a facial appointment soon. <laughs> Joe, Joe, facial appointment. Yeah, facial. Ah, uh, oh, that, yeah. that was a Pornhub sure. category. Yeah, I got a facial appointment soon. Okay. So, Alrighty. so guys, this is this is actually a really cool psychology thing that we would actually want to talk about as Alex Bow and myself have actually kind of implemented this into our daily process. And the thing that's beautiful about process, man, which I I absolutely love process, man, because it doesn't just apply to trading. It applies to life. Bao said last week he hit a max daily loss. And I think he, he showed it, so he's not shy about it. I think it was like 15. So he hit a max daily loss. So what did he do? He said, fuck it, dude. I'm going to forget about this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off screens. I'm going to go pamper myself today. He got, the man that made $1.4 million in one day has a max May. loss at 15K. And, and folks on Twitter are talking about minus 200 minus 300 minus 500 minus 600 K uh, who, who've never gotten close to a 1.4 million dollar right who have never even toast never even tasted <laughs> six uh, probably anything over maybe 150 dude that that's called that's literally that, that's called Ferrari money dude you know what Bao did that day Bao was that I think that was 2013 right dude Bao the same day went and got a Ferrari within that within two days right. dude think th that's Ferrari money, man. So these guys that are like, oh man, I've never even made a trade like that yet. I'm swinging up 400, 600, 700,000, you know, dollars up and down by the end of the day. He's up I'm down. I'm up. I'm the down. Fuck, I'm up. Dude? You don't that. earn that. You don't earn. There's no risk management. There's no proper anything. So what Bao did the other day, he took a $14,000 loss, which is unbelievably reasonable for a man that's made 1.4 million in a day. Everything is relative. He gets a manicure. He gets... He got facials, he got foot rubs, he got fucking drinks made for him. And guess what? It is now part of the weekly process. We added it to our actual trading process because now Bao has been literally so in the matrix since that pamper day that it was a full reset, like that, like a snap of the fingers, dude. And here's the thing, like Kodak today. Yeah, see, this was Bao. I took a picture of that and sent it to him. <laughs> if, that oh isn't, my God. Dude, if, if that isn't living your best life, then I, I literally don't know what is, dude. <laughs> So the beauty guys is what I want to make very clear. And we're very passionate about this man is, and this is like, dude, as funny as this is, this is, this is no jokes, man. You need to separate sometimes and Bao took a max loss. He, he was feeling a little down. He pampered himself that day, man. He took care of himself psychologically and physically, mentally. Here's what happened. He has been on a fucking tear, dude, ever since made way more than what he lost that day. Just in the last two days, I think he even made it today. But the point is, is you got to take care of yourself. So both physically, mentally, financially, everything, man. And this is what's called adding to process. So again, you know, Bao's been training for 20 years and can still teach himself something through his trial and error or certain circumstances. This is what we are screaming every single day. A max daily loss. If you're up 200,000 in the morning, then you're down 400,000 by the end of the day. And then by the end of the day, you're up 70 grand. What the fuck did you learn, dude? What the fuck? fuck did any of your tab members learn that's not real trading dude that's nope. go to vegas man
Oh, I'm up in a Ventador. Now I'm down a Ferrari. Oh, now I just made a Tesla. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Dude. It wasn't, and it's not even a real Tesla. It's like a Model 3. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's called a Tusla. <laughs> it's a, it's a, oh, shit, man. It, it, yeah, I'm t- look, man, again, you get what you pay for. And a lot of these other services, man, they're charging you $50, they're charging you $70, they're charging you $100. We charge $197 a month. Why? because we are the King Midas touch when it comes to learning day trading and process. We will teach you what works. And most importantly, again, man, no community, you should look at their guru and judge the community based off their guru, right? You, you just shouldn't do that. You should go to the testimonials page and see what the members are saying, man. Yep. Like it's always about the members, man. What are the members saying? Do they have a good taste in their mouth after one day, one week, two months, six years, or do they have a very sour taste in their mouth because there were hidden agendas behind pumping stocks? Or again, your guru is swinging hundreds of thousands of dollars and it's just craziness that by the end of the day, dude, you can't implement that. You don't know how to do, you can't follow that man. He's leading you in your own doom. People are out for themselves, and then there are people out for the community. So at MIC, you are not a number. You are a a part of our family. We're here to protect you, just like we're here to protect our own bankroll. If I get a message, and it happens very rarely these days because we are so fucking hard on process, dude. But every now and then, I get someone that slips up, and he's like, Tosh, I took a really bad loss today. Can we talk about it? I'm like, dude, of course we can, man. What happened? Did you break your rules? Did you hit the max loss? Did you have it in? Did you call your broker up and say, cut me off? What the fuck happened? What did you do wrong? And then we talk about it, dude. What did you do? (laughs) What did you do? (laughs) What did you do? Tell me, what did you do? Stocks 247. I'm an annual member. If for some unfathomable fucked up reason, say a lifetime member couldn't make it uh, to day two, could an annual maybe work out something to get in uh, in their place? I'm not sure if I'm following stocks 247 but uh shoot me a dm man we'll talk about it i'm not exactly sure what you're saying are you saying because somebody i understand what he's saying so is a just because a lifetime member cannot make it oh i see oh not me i no no we're not gonna if if the day two is exclusively for lifetimes we're not gonna upgrade an annual to that a lifetime they paid it they paid it they They put out the investment i mean yeah no well, and Bao just said it, man. Again, it's like, dude, you can't transfer gym memberships, can you? It's like, oh, fuck, dude. I right. never use LA Fitness. So, hey, buddy, Joe, you want to go use my... <laughs> <laughs> no, man, we, we can't do that, brother. We can't do that. Yeah, no. And again, man, that's multiple logins. It wouldn't be fair. It's like, you, who would, like, you, you guys would share a login? No, that doesn't work, man. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, so basically, I, all the, you know, the, the, the 400 other people that paid... For lifetime membership and the one lifetime or in the one annual that gets that exclusive access you know yeah what what does that say yeah it's it's just it goes it goes as simple as this man is you can't transfer gym memberships definitely not mic members <laughs> i can't oh, make love to my girlfriend tonight you want my swap, swap. <laughs> i'm like oh shit tell tag her, me tag, in fam no, no, ta- hey text me uh, at trans- two, one, in. three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit i'm out of town man you want to sub in little wife i don't know Dave, Dave, david you hook you hook me up some of that some of that some of that wagyu that you got bro and then maybe we can work something out hey man we'll talk brother we'll talk with some wagyu but <laughs> yeah, we talk about we talk about that if you got that wagyu t just spat out of my nose and laughing so hard <laughs> oh my deja vu membership i can't go tonight you want the spot <laughs> Oh man, you need to, yeah, yeah. David got that, he's got that good Wagyu, man. He got he's that like, good, good. Like, Texas, he's like only in LA. I'm like, what? David, we're coming out to see you, bro. You want the membership? <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like, it's only in San Francisco. He's like, I delivered to your door. And I was like, well, that is a nice offer. Not gonna lie. Uh, I will <laughs> teleport for some walk. <laughs> I will. If, if I had a door in San Francisco, that would be good. Bro, I'm going to teleport like Kodak did today, straight through the roof. <laughs> Maybe since Bao is staying in L.A. a lot, I could go live at Bao's house for a little while. Oh, yeah. Get some Wagyu delivered. Hey, man, and if he's not feeling it that night, maybe sub in for the girlfriend. <laughs> he's got a baby. nice blow-up bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm sure and Bao again, guys, we. Good. 
Bow's Look, house could he he could it, it, he's like that place could be like a that would be like a like a Hilton hotel in a small town. He's like <laughs> Bow lives in a small town Hilton. In one of those towns that you can't pronounce and you've never heard right. of. Bow Bow's like literally yeah like the Waldorf. <laughs> it's, bro, it's like it it's he he's like there's a butler at the front of the home that hands you your room key. Like there's so many rooms in that house. Yeah, Alfred's at the front handing out room keys. <laughs> like it's like in those shows, like how I met your mother and stuff. He's like, dude, whatever you need handled, you got the black Amex card. If you need <laughs> you someone to be murdered, we got you. If you need hookers, we got you. If you need anything, we got you. You want to meet Elon Musk tonight? We got you. Like it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But yeah, that's a super sick pad, man. Go stay with Bao and you'll you'll definitely be treated right. And eight, hey, go when Bao's having a pamper day, man. This might just be you right next to him. <laughs> 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 that is the look of bliss. Let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, they, they were like, they were like, hey, yeah, go hit up Dave. He's got the wagyu meats. He'll deliver. And I was like, yeah, let me go. Let me get at you, buddy. Hey, hey, Dave. What can you do for me? And he's like, hey, can't Dave. deliver to can't deliver to Texas. I'm like, damn it. Joe's like, dude, <laughs> you've got the product. I would have been a pretty baby. consistent client, buddy. Let me just tell you. Joe's like, I, I eat a lot of I steak. <laughs> dude, I, I eat I, a lot of steak. If I would trust anybody with my Wagyu or anything, it's Joe's grill. Dude. Joe, can you post a pic of that or something, bro? <laughs> and we just cornered Alex's attention. And we got Alex's attention. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Bait and switch. Dude, that we yeah. have any questions or is this just a podcast today? I'm yeah, good with either. Seriously. I love this psychology though, man. We're talking about a lot of cool psychology things, man. That's what I wanted to do today, man. Charts are fun and all, but dude, when it comes to mindset and things like a pamper day or things like hard stops, max daily loss, this needs to be talked about too, man. I love this. This is a really good lesson today, man. Whoa. I just figured out a way to like minimize the zoom thing. Okay. Anyway. Moving on. <laughs> Nobody has any idea of what you just said, but awesome yeah, for great. you. It's great. It's great so guys, for you. I, I'm telling you, man, this, this event is going to be so sick, dude. Bow, enjoy your facial, bro. Uh, enjoy the rest I'm of sure your day. That's what strippers say before they go to work. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah literally. Guys, $97 is the cheapest you will ever find for what's called true education. This is not pumping. This is not agendas. This is not anything other than the fact that Bao is going to screen share. We are going to show you live. We're going to teach you live. We have a process that can be shown. It is, you can replicate it in your own trading. Oh, and by the way, if you need any Wagyu, definitely DM Dave. Yeah, hit up David. <laughs> David's like, mind if I plug myself? <laughs> I don't know. I think I've plugged him like five times now. <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> What does that whoa, mean? Whoa, I didn't mean that. I, I thought he that. doesn't deliver to freaking Texas. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, bro. Oh, he delivers. Oh, with the plug. <laughs> <laughs> who has who has questions about their trading? <laughs> Went in right, came out wrong. <laughs> yeah. That's what she said. Oh shit. You guys are crazy, man. Again, guys, MIC is a community. This is all family, man. We know all these guys by personal names, man. This is, you're, you're not just a member at MIC, man. You're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. We ask that you speak out. We ask that you ask for help. We ask that you say questions, man. And look, it's a bunch of guys in here. We try not to be too catered to male humor. There's Lorraine. There's Faye. Uh, we apologize sometimes. But again, guys, this is, this is just a fun, man, this is the community, man. Yeah, sorry, ladies, seriously. <laughs> Quadruple checking just to make sure I have no positions. Okay, Faye is in charge now. See ya. Yep, that's another thing, guys. Maybe we should talk about, you know, um, I'm sure Bao could say this over, you know, the lifetime of trades that he's taking. But dude, every now and then you got a clean house. You never know when you've got an order out there and you're like, oh my God, dude, I just gave back $2,000 because I didn't know there was an 800 starter sitting at this stock that's totally ripping. You know what I mean? Yeah. So again, another psych psycho psychology lesson is to clean house every now and then. Seriously. I think like we've all made that mistake. Oh my God, dude. More times than I can freaking count. I was like, yeah. you, you go out and grab a smoothie. You look down and you're like, oh my God, how do I have fucking 300 shares of Kodak right now? Dude, <laughs> dude, that happened to me on, uh, you remember HTGM? 
HTGM. Yes. yes, I do. One time. So I was short HTGM and I put like, I put this order to like cover 2000 shares and I'd forgotten. I only had like 1000 left. And so I end up like net long and three days later. Okay. Three days later, I checked that account and I'm still long <laughs> and I longed the bottom. You're kidding. <laughs> Bro, it'll never happen again in my life. It'll Dude, never it, happen again in my life. Specifically, guys, yeah, it, the day that you don't mean to, Joe, of course. Oh, yeah, it worked. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> dude back when i couldn't trade all the time back when i wasn't full-time i was part-time and dude there would be days where i could not check my account i couldn't check the market i would be it would be nothing i would go days without checking oh shit it was it was three days and i logged back in and i'm like i have a position dude i remember back in the day man when i was first starting out guys this is kind of like a funny story for you so <clears throat> i remember back in the day man I would use size that I had zero idea of what I was doing, right? Like, dude, I'm talking like when you have a freaking $7,000 account at max, you know, back seven years ago. And I literally, I think I had three accounts. I, I think if I remember exactly, I had a TD Ameritrade for 2.5K. I had an E-Trade and I had like an interactive brokers, right? Something Before like you that. do that, bef yeah, before yeah, you continue, can you put the MIC second annual boot camp slide back up for somebody on YouTube? absolutely they want to grab that information sure, sure, all right sure. carry Wait on about this buddy so yep. dude carry so on. i was rocking to obviously get around um to get around the pdt rule because whether you're a long short or whatever biased trader guys you're going to be under the pdt rule you're gonna have three trades a week every five business days so i was like dude i have got 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 to have extra trades, right? So I had the three accounts and I remember, dude, I was taking like 4,000 shares position on like a $3,000 account. I didn't even know how I got the leverage, but they were like $1 stocks for, and I was just like, oh my God, dude, I'm oversizing. And then bro, bro I'm sure you remember back in the day what, um, what Dries did, right, Joe? Oh yeah. Dude, Dries went up from like $4 to 120, right? on this, I think it was the third day. Cause it was like a four day run. If I remember correctly, yeah, it was, it was in, like, dude, I'll never forget it. I know exactly what I was doing. So you remember, like, <laughs> you remember everybody goes, you know, you, you will always remember where you were on nine 11. Well, oh, I God. also remember Dry, where I was dude. when dries went to 120. Bro, listen, <laughs> Joe, listen to I this. Remember, Joe. I remember. So listen to this, Joe. So the day that Dries was running, man, yeah, Alex is, of course, Alex remembers. Dude, I remember the day it started really halting. Not the day that it did the unhalt in the watt, the day before it did from like 100 to 50, like Kodak did today from 60 to like 30. Dude, yep. I was longing the downhaul. Set, like I didn't know what I was doing. And here's the thing, bro, I had like, uh, I think I literally had like a $22,000 account. Bro, I was using five hundred shares do you know what that means in oh, in yeah, five seconds in. Dude, dude and i was using td ameritrade in two seconds i was up two grand had i held for nine more seconds dude i would have been up like literally like probably 15 g's because there was so much range so when you're brand new dude you don't know shit i remember that day dude i literally made like fucking five dude i made like thousands of dollars on yep. a very, very, very tiny account. I could have lost my entire account that day, dude. I didn't know. I wasn't educated like I am now. That's the problem about, you know, when you're first starting and you're trying to figure this out and you don't have a resource at MIC is you don't know that one trade that you think you're going small, you're dead. You are dead, dude. You're fucking dead. So the key, man, is to like these Robin Hood accounts, man, it's sickening what they're doing, dude. They just don't know, bro. They just don't know. Man. But their Instagram ads say that they're millionaires. So 
Sounds legit to me. Dude, right? Just kidding. It, it, it's crazy, man. So again, guys, you know, <laughs> this is, look, man, MIC is not just a short bias room. We cater to the $2,000 accounts with that only long, man, that can't short yet. So this is not all about professionals who are professional short sellers. We have strategies for everything, but we ask and we plead and we beg that you don't rush in with a ton amount of shares and all this stuff until you know price action, until you understand the game or range. And like, like David just said, man, education first. You got a back test. Look, I know that my max, um, you know, my max amount of shares on something like Kodak versus something like God Gene today is going to be very different, man. It might be three times. Do you know why? Because the range is very different, man. If yep. you know, I'm willing to use X Y Z amount of shares on Gene, I may triple that. Oh, I'm sorry, on on Kodak, I may triple that on something like Gene because the range just isn't there, or maybe the float whatever. Maybe there's easy, easy to borrow. Maybe there's SSR. You got to learn this shit, man. So, you know, these poor souls, man, these poor souls, God. If the old indicator is true, folks. If the old indicator is true with the number of Robinhood accounts that increase, sorry, the number of Robinhood accounts that increase overnight, look at that. 78,000 more accounts hold positions in Kodak, in Kodak now. Joe, there say, are literally just, that dude, many accounts that hold a position now. And so Joe, for, the, for the guys that literally don't understand this, can you explain as layman's terms as possible what this is and what's going on? Like, dude, there's guys out there that this may be their first day, dude, seriously. Absolutely. So this site right here is uh, Robin Track, okay? Dot, dot net. Robin Track dot net, all right? When you go to that, you click popularity changes. This tracks the number of Robinhood accounts that hold positions in these particular symbols. All right. Yep. Tickers. And yep. And what has proven quite true. All right. What has proven quite true is that once you reach the number one spot, once your ticker symbol reaches the number one spot and you have the number of change like this, when your number of change increases like exponentially like amount, this is right amount. here yeah and when that happens when that happens that means the herd is following hoping that it goes higher and yeah. usually the indication is that when everybody wants it higher tomorrow will undoubtedly in my undoubtedly in my mind i'm going to say nine out of ten certainty with myself and because this is what I'm looking for tomorrow. I'm waiting for tomorrow. Yep. Tomorrow, in my mind, will be first red day. In my mind, will be first red day. And so, just, just I to will say, be ready no, to smack it. So, so why is this important, guys? Why, why does this give us an edge? Because this is the uneducated money that we talk about, dude. Yep. We are educated traders. What did Alex say on his YouTube live on Monday? He said, I am taking money because I'm educated from uneducated traders. Unfortunately, for every dollar made, there's a dollar loss in, the, in, the, in this industry. Dude, but, but. It's an equal playing field. If you want to rush in with no training wheels and be a dumbass, that is up to you and to follow somebody else. That is not on anybody but you. If you so want to here's go, that dude. Yeah. Here's that situation with that guy that was asking earlier about a checklist. All right. Yes. So checklist number one. Is it day one and your stock is the number one spot on Robin Track? If it is, okay, then you get a big fat X. It's not time to short it. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, if it is day two and you have a big extension day, here we go, day two, okay, day two, okay, check. Okay, now, after day two, sorry, what the fuck is going on with my <laughs> I'm like, mouse? Joe, okay. what the hell are you drawing? <laughs> check, day two, check. It's now up a 100% plus, it's screaming. Okay, volume is higher than the prior day. Robinhood buyers have now increased to this to their number one position. Okay, we got one, two, three, four. If tomorrow gaps down or goes red, it's time to short. Okay, five. That becomes A plus. A plus F R. Yo, let's let's write a this plus out. First red day. There's your checklist. That's as simple as your checklist needs to become. That's as simple as your scoring sheet needs to be. Now, I think, I think because you just explained all this, 
Uh, I don't pay too much attention to this because I, I like my low hangers, but I do pay somewhat attention to this. But I like what Joe's saying. And for all the guys out there who I want to stay safe, again, none of this is telling you what to do, but a process can be built around this to stay safe. So Joe, what do you think? Let's create a checklist right now for this, what people can at least pay attention to. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. Let's, let's write this out. In just real quick to add to this, to prove to you guys that that this is, I, I have actually traded using this. There is a webinar in the library that I show me bottom ticking American Airlines using this exact same strategy on the long side. It was the number one decreased position. That means everybody was dumping their shares because it kept dumping. And so when that reached it, boom. I'm ready to long it. And I long the bottom of American Airlines, alerted that that I, that I went long and blah, 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 proving that I'm long this position. I'm just making it up. I'm using my own money. Right. Correct. I'm taking this trade, long the bottom. Next day, we gap up three points and then boom, I sell. And so I'm not, I will do that on the long side, okay? I will do that on the long side because there is limited risk. On the short side, Never, ever, 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 ever anticipate first red day. Okay. Number never. one. That's my number one is okay. never anticipate first red day. Never anticipate the first red day, of course. Yep. You can't so you can't short today hoping that tomorrow is the first red day just because it's number one position on Robin Tracker. It's number one, da da da. It's got all the as it's got all the aspects of it, right? It's got all the aspects of it. You cannot do that. You got to wait. You got to wait for the next morning because the next morning you are going to have much better opportunity to actually take a trade with set risk in mind and actually have a great opportunity at making a profit. Okay, so step two is, is it day two plus? That's the key. For shorting. This, this was something that Bao talked about on Twitter on the trading fish, like, oh God, it was like six years ago, five years ago, something like that. And this was a thing in OTCs, and it's very much a thing in large in small caps on listed stocks too. Number three for me is um, is there a blow off top intraday? Um, number four is, um, is it number one on Robin track? I love this Joe. Dude, the reason why I wanted to do this Joe is because look, guys, it, we are, we are so unbelievably adamant about you staying safe. This is like the dude, we're giving you this away for free on this webinar, man. Even if you didn't join MSC, I don't want guys putting their hard earned money in there, mortgaging their fucking house and then losing because they don't know why. So I just want to create a little cheat sheet for you guys to understand what's going on in the market and all this new generation of Robin Hood. So I love this dude, Joe, what's number four? What do you think? Is it number one? Is it number one on Robin tracker? on Robin Tracker. Literally the the top one guys. Think about that. Like number fucking one. Yep. That's the real key, right? Joe, that's the that's yeah. the real key. That's the sauce right there. <laughs> that's the sauce. That's that's the that's the secret sauce, baby. Yep. I'll just say sauce. And just to be clear is and this is probably not a part of the like the number 5 or anything like that, but it well, I guess it is. So to add to that number four, this would be like 4A. Is it the most watched stock in every single chat room on Twitter and everywhere else? Most okay. talked about, most mentioned. Is this, is this the most mentioned stock? Because this is going to narrow down whether you found the real thing, okay? Because I see a lot of people, they'll come in and be like, is this a first red day? And I'm like, fuck, I never even heard about that ticker. I've never even seen that ticker. If you are the only one that sees it and you have to ask, is this a potential blah, blah, blah? It's fucking not. <laughs> it's, Dude, nobody cares like, I'm, about I'm that stuff. I'm trying to make this as clear for like members as possible, man. Seriously. Yep. yep. Um, that so never anticipate 
Is it day two plus? Is there a blow off top intraday? Is no, what do you think about a percent Robin tracker? What, since you've been tracking this more than I have, what percent change do you like to see on the number one list? Like what's the minimum? Like So that is not or? a percent change. I guess you could calculate a percent change, but if you look at it, that is like an actual physical number of accounts. So 28,271 accounts and an additional <laughs> 78,000 hold that stock right now yeah, for a total sorry. of 106,000 accounts. Yeah, guys, I meant not in price action. I meant literally the holders of the company now in account form. So uh, in terms of numbers, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I look mostly at, um, I want to see the percent change, the increase in number of accounts to be parabolic. So in so number of percent change of accounts involved in the ticker. That's yep. what it is. Yep. Um, do you like to see 40%, 50%? Like, like I said, man, you've definitely been tracking this. Dude, I love like 100%. Like that's <laughs> so the money. So as high as possible. Like when that shit doubles, like when it goes from yesterday, 28,000 people held it to now 50,000 people hold it and that shit's got a blow Cause, off top. Oh, yep. I'm... Oh, I'm all about this. Because here's, here's, here's what I here's what I was gonna say, in brother. I like sixty percent because yeah, it, I can it, see that because it's just it, dude. That's what I look for on gap and craps when it comes to literally just intraday small caps. So again, guys, it's just an exponential increase. Obviously, HTVX today the account difference from what yesterday, right, Joe, would be right. forty six thousand to fifty one. Fifty one, yeah. That's that's not that's not that's considerable. Normal. That's not like billboards in your face and red flags to be like, oh my god, dude, oh my god, the end is near, dude. Yep. These are guys. These some of these one hundred and six thousand dollar accounts today, bro. Some of these guys longed at sixty. You know oh, it. You know they did. Oh, definitely. Yikes. So you need this like that. You need this like just trickle, 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 chase, chase, chase. The more percentage here you guys see, which is a percent change of accounts owned you know the more chasing that happened that needs to have an unwind and a bleed. 1,000%. Dude, that is the beauty of what this is. We're trying to teach you guys to stay safe. And look, if you can make money out of it, great. But I want you guys to know when not to fucking buy, dude. My God, man, that's sickening. 28,000 to 106,000 Robin and Hood accounts own it just today, dude. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that's 78,000 people today. <laughs> 78,000. I'm going to put that, dude. I'm going to put this for the sake of the example. Kodak had 70, uh, 78,000 new accounts <laughs> Jeez, on, yeah, on July 29th, 2020. Just so we'll look back uh, at this so, in five years and be like, the fuck? D oh, God damn. Why didn't we short our, you know, mother in law house? <laughs> short it all. Short it yeah, all with your mother in law. I'm not going to short this today. I'm not going to touch it because there could be the, the like exception to the rule. Yes, there could always. be the exception to the rule and it could break every single part of this strategy. Side note, always like wait for confirm there because there are always exceptions there's always going to be an exception to the, i love that it's going to be that, that one that exactly. breaks your system that the, always well the market's always going to have a 21 blackjack sometimes exactly. dude this is so fucking gold man the people need to get people need to understand what the psychology behind this is man uh now, what was that last question back. you wait for the bounce wait for it to bounce back to the blow off top no no so uh so yeah, what do you, what do you go like watch the on the day watch of the, the lifetime trader clinics on how we trade the first red day there was one that you and alex did tosh that was how you trade the first red days yep um and that is available for lifetime members so i'm not going to talk about how we trade a first red day uh i will just say this, wait for the plan this webinar <laughs> yeah wait for the slam yeah i mean that's about as clear as you can get but all of you that are members and all of you that want to know how we will trade Kodak tomorrow or the day when it becomes first red date, my anticipation is tomorrow. That's exactly right. Dude. That is based on this checklist. Tomorrow will be the day, but I have no truthful clue. Uh, and I will only react once that happens. So that's your checklist. Yeah.
So all that, this, and that's what I would go with. And that's with this guys, this is this again, man, this is one drop in the freaking bucket of what you would learn at MIC, but this is a rudimentary guide for new guys who just joined uh, the trading world to stay safe with all this Robin hood BS and also how to track the Robin hood tracker and a plan around it. So again, like, dude, we're here to help you. But again, man, if you thought, if you found this useful, dude, you have no idea, dude, you have no fucking idea what's in an eight hour course in the accelerator program, which there are promos right now. So text me at two, one, three, four, five, eight, five, nine, nine, seven. And also what we are going to cover, dude, this market is so hot right now. What we're going to cover in this live trading event, guys, it's a must attend, man. If you have any kind of seriousness about your future, guys, dude, why do you think we price at 97, man? MIC is not a cash grab, dude. You know what 97 buys If you us, love dude? your mother, you will be at this event. If you don't <laughs> love your mother, you will not be there. Dude, if let you are not there, you, you don't love your own mother. Bro, we could have charged $2,000 for this, but guess what? We want the everyday guy to learn, man. This is not a cash grab. And $97 will cover the fees of how much it's going to cost just to put on this fucking thing. Like, <laughs> dude, it's not about making money, man. It's about letting you learn, guys, and giving you better options at MIC. The annual lifetime is the way to go. Monthly is great, but I'm going to tell you right now, you are going to absolutely put a starter cable into like your freaking mind when it comes to cutting your learning curve down and understanding knowledge in the annual and the lifetime. So like I said, man, we just showed you a decent rudimentary guide on what this, what this, you know, this whole Robin Hood generation looks like, the chasing behind it, the time to strike. First red day is one out of literally six of our setups that we do every single day. And it's one that is applicable between small and big cap. So, you know, yep. I don't want the members to be mad. We're getting way too much info, <laughs> but yeah. you, guys, you guys get the idea, man. So if you want to come into MIC, dude, we are going to teach you the right way. And we're going to teach you what works, not what the masses are doing. If you are a guy today that lost $197, that's a monthly membership. Why did you lose that without investing in your education? If you lost near 2000, that is the accelerator course. That's an annual dude. If you lost anything over 7k today, and we're also running, you know, lifetime cheaper right now, if you lost anywhere over five and six, bro, you lost a lifetime of this shit. Like, I don't get it, dude. People are so stubborn, man. I agree. God, dude, take the ego out of the equation, dude. Anytime I, anytime I start something new, it's like, Joe, you're, you're, you're pretty, you're pretty uh, knowledgeable when it comes to real estate, right? Dude, I, I, I'm just getting in this field and just learning, right? If I wanted to go full-blown real estate, you know what I would do? I'd fly to Texas. I would provide value to Joe. I'd take him out to dinner. I'd wine and dine his, his, his time. And I'd say, Joe, teach me, dude. You're the guy who knows. That is what you need to do with trading. You are learning from guys who pump. You're learning from guys who chase. You're learning from guys who have an agenda. And you are getting stuck into their biases. Dude, the guy that's swinging a million dollars in P&L, and then by the end of the day, he's up 20 grand. What the fuck did you learn, man? Are you right. kidding me? Dude, you played his revenge trading, bro. <laughs> like, For real, man. For real. Holy shit. Joe, you know the only trade I took today, man, is literally Gene at VWAP, dude. That's it. That's all I took today. Why? Because that was all I was comfortable taking today. That's it. Because I know tomorrow I might have three different kinds of gene plays. You know, you know what I mean? Like, dude, right. process, man. I'll be around for the next 10, 20, 30 years. Will you guys? You got to learn. You got to learn. Dude, this is, a, this is a hell of a webinar, man. I'm, I'm so glad we actually, I'm so glad my computer didn't let me do charts today, man. So we could just really talk about the psychology behind it. Because I think this is something. Oh, is that, that why we haven't been showing charts? Dude, I literally, <laughs> my, my, my fucking computer, dude, decided to take a shit today and I couldn't load anything, man. I, it oh, would have lagged man. the whole system. I wouldn't even be able to type. So check this. There was a guy that just asked, and I'll, I'll, I'll let this be the last question before me and Joe run, because we, we, we have been talking for a while. Um, where was it? it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, actually, so do I. So, um, <laughs> and by tinkle, Joe means a big old horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> there was a by question. By tinkle, I mean drop a deuce. There was a question <laughs> earlier, I'm trying to find it, about the importance of everything in it relates to, oh, here it goes. How do you think you would rate price action volume, technical analysis, and psychology. I think, and this is my, this is my kind of grading system, I would put price action and psychology as the first two, if not psychology first. 
price oh, action. Yeah. Technical analysis is price action, but then I would go to volume and things like fundamentals. But guys, line to line, and are you hitting the right line? That's the psychology. So, you know, it, it comes down to those two things, man, is like, do you know which line you should be hitting, the psychology behind the trade and who's stuck, and then which line you are hitting based on price action, right? So those go hand, hand in hand, man, seriously. This is kind of like how I would number that. Yeah, Joe, type it out, man. Yeah. Uh, Fundamentals would, for me would come way later, man. They just really would. I would label it like that because I love that. <laughs> if you don't understand, and Tosh said it perfectly, if you don't understand the psychology, you won't understand the price action for at sure, all. Sure, dude. You have no idea what the psychology is based on what you're seeing. Price action is what you see, right? If you yeah. don't understand what you see, how do you interpret that? Man, and, and not, dude, and not just that. It's like psychology, guys, is not, look, people think scaling a stock is just price action. No way, dude. The psychology of your comfort zone, of what you're willing to be down first. Have you back tested it? So much of that is psychology of like, oh shit, okay, I got in a starter at BWAP, but it's still running over. Like on a technical yep. standpoint, on a price action standpoint, the chart will literally fucking tell you, dude, cut at this line or don't. But your psychology yep. may tell you something completely different, dude. If you don't have the proper psychological, you know, lessons behind it. Like, Man, there's just so much to know, man. But there is a very clear understanding. Look at Kodak. <laughs> What's okay. it doing? 33. Oh, let me, I'll pull it up on my Tanked phone. Tanked from 40 to 33 in the last 10 minutes here. Hold on. I'm pulling it up on my phone, man. Oh, shit, dude. Val should have wrote his short. Nice. Oh, Down no. 32. He, he short this, is it halted? It. I think he actually longed it. Bro, this is, this is uh, Kodak tomorrow. is halted. Tomorrow, if we can get the borrow, man, this might wow. be pretty sexy. <laughs> I know, I know your sugar mama Faye is looking at it tomorrow. If I can't get the borrows, I'm going to be looking at the put options. Dude, that's why you learn options, so you have a silver bullet. <laughs> I don't have to have the locates if the options trade enough volume, but if the options don't trade any volume, then I'll have to find the shares. But if I can't find the shares, then, yeah, and I've got Cobra, so... Probably not going to have the shares because <laughs> it's, it's already restricted <laughs> and for good fucking reason too. So it's Here's all right. Best part, guys, we have a new little bit of an options course that Joe is putting together um, right now. So we, dude, we have everything at MIC, man. If you want to join the best community online, bro, look no further, man. It's time. Invest in your education, guys. It's time. It is time. Fighting out of the Thanks, red Alex. corner. Alex, secret, the silent ninja. He's been in here. What's up, buddy? Guys, we're going to leave you with these kind words from Alex. Uh, hope you, hopefully you guys got something out of this today. I wanted to really harp on the psychology of trading, uh, what we're putting on. I can't wait to do this live event, guys. You're going to love it. Um, reach out to me. Again, here's my number, screenshot. You know, Reach out to me if you have any questions possible. Signing up, upgrading, uh, whatever it is, man. But I I'm here for you. And again, we'll do this next week. And we will, hopefully my computer doesn't lag and we can bring up some badass charts. But uh, Joe, you're awesome, brother. I will catch you next week and um, go hit up David for um, uh, some Wagyu. <laughs> yeah, right. Get your shipping right, David. Damn it, David. DHL, UPS, there's no excuse. Damn it, David. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, get us Wagyu now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see you guys. See All you right, guys. later, bro. Later, bud.